All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Mike with Play More Games, and now we're diving into turn four of Two Minutes to Midnight. And to get you recapped, we are tied at one a piece. We are heading into the 18, uh, late, uh, early 60s. Okay. So, uh, how there is one thing I do want to say. I am going to try um, maybe a couple of things that I haven't tried before, um, particularly aggressions. Um, because I haven't, I haven't used a ton of aggressions yet. Um, so, um, So, uh, yeah, I want to try that. So, um, we'll kind of see how that works. Um, at least, you know, I want to try it if it, if it makes sense to do it. I want to try it because I think a lot of times, and, uh, this happens I think this happens quite a bit, especially with new games, is you don't start off, when you start off, you don't actually use everything. You don't use all the tools that you have at your disposal, which, I mean, makes sense because you don't necessarily um, know uh, what's going on. So um, I'm going to try. We'll see. Anyway, yeah, there's a couple of other uh, effects to like occupation, deploying military. I haven't used a lot, and those don't feel like things that you know that you do use often. But it is, I think, important to know when you might want to use them, and when you should use them so all right with that little ramble uh done let's get started with the uh first card here authoritarian unrest so roll the die no effect so we take a look popular unrest both sides must remove two investment. Um, so let's remove one from Estonia, Lithuania, one from uh, America. I guess we'll remove one from Israel. Move. Chinese nuclear weapon. Uh, the Chinese get the nuke. So this this does not help the atomic balance of power. Um, but it does. Um, Give like a, a mad current roll. Pretty sure, and there might be other cards that play off it later in the in the game. All right, let's do Soviet. And let's take a look at. Here. All right. So, an aggression. Uh, 
is going to cost us as the Soviets. Let's see here. <clears throat> so it's going to be a minor aggression. Let's look at the tech board here. So we'll have plus two aggression modifier. Um, All right, so let's take a look. Aggression costs one money, so that'll be the entire card. And then we get two embargo markers. Which I know one falls off at the end of the turn. And I think we can pay one money, remove an embargo. Um, let's see. have no uh we do get a free remove trade uh thing but we have no uh... oh actually we have a money owed so we have to do that first and and i forget we did get a, a trade item or the the token is on a trade item. So I am sorry, I'm all mixed up here. Uh, The farm trade item there. I'm sorry, this is probably pretty boring. Um, all right. Let's go. Alliance for Progress. Five. Soviet player must place the Alliance for Progress marker within one of Brazil. Okay. If the U.S. player has alignment and a democratic government in the placed country at the end of a turn, add two U.S. Progress and remove. All right. We're going to place the Alliance for Progress marker. And basically... What that's going to mean is if they align it, they get two bonus points. So that actually sounds pretty good for you. Mongoose. We must spend up to three spies in or adjacent to Cuba. So I think canonically, Castro is already dead on the turn two card. But all right, so... We make a 2d6 roll, and we got 1-1, one, one. nothing happens. Khrushchev Thaw. All right. Uh, we cycle. Actually, Red Army. Uh, we have Red Army option, which and we're going to 
We're going to exhaust one of these spies to remove unrest here. And we get to remove one. Needing a five or above. All right, Soviet money. Now we can try and do our aggression. Um, if we do so, Americans will get a chance to remove the farm tech. So let's do that. So 2d6. All right, and the Western trade marker stays there. Place two embargo markers back out. I mean, I have to, I have to look it up, but I think the only way to remove those one falls off at the end of the turn, but I think you can pay a dollar to have it removed. but I'm not 100%. Anyway, that's the way I'm going to play it. All right. So we are we are going to invade Iraq. Since Iraq is isolated, it's not adjacent to anything. Um, so we have a plus two aggression modifier. Um, we have no minuses. no pluses. All right. Now, since the U.S. has naval advantage, they may apply a minus one to the high die. Um, let's roll it. All right, so that's a six and a seven. Um, so we place an occupied marker in the target country. And a destruction marker covering the rightmost revealed factory. We flip this to a red cube and a red government. All right, now let's do the same thing with Iran. So again, plus twos here. All right, we get another six. That wasn't so bad. Um, once we get, once we repair those countries, um, we'll get a victory point for each of them. But more importantly, we're denying the United States access to the oil for these cards. So that actually worked out pretty well. Assassin. That is going to be out there lurking. Soviet money. Uh, uh, and I wish I knew 100% how to fix
Russia, Russia. Should I? You know what? Since it's, I don't actually see it listed anywhere, I am going to say that we have to wait for it to fall. But that could be wrong. Uh, so instead, we're going to place an investment in each of our two new territories and then roll in each of them to remove the destruction markers. So um, for each of them, right, so Iraq needs. Five or six. Okay. We get a go up and we get a victory point. Then Iran. It's actually two D six. That one we don't get. agencies all right so this spy here will try to steal these secrets so 2d6 need a six and the u.s rolls a die and they get to deploy a spy in a democratic country worth two and we'll get one in they have pigs. The U.S. decides against intervention, uh, which means JFK is definitely getting assassinated, probably. Um, Angola. Place a civil war marker in Angola. So, as far as the civil war markers go, the only way they come up is by card effect. At least this is what I can determine by card effect or by a coup if the coup uh, results. So, um, that'd be green. So they get a plus one. With a three. We either add two unrest in USSR or by green. Oh, wait. I think we have a modifier for the tech board. We do. So we actually have a plus two, so that's a four. We're looking at no effect. We we'll want to think about that in the future. Military, if embargoed, this card does nothing. On we get a two. Um, and since we're embargoed, we can't buy that there that's the point of the embargo um let's see we're gonna do a research action to improve tech north vietnam invades add one unrest in vietnam if this triggers a coup, apply civil war instead. Right, so we'll add a single civil war. USA money. All right. Now, what should we do? First, let's see, I want to place uh, an influence or an investment in an influence die roll to Argentina. I want to get those bonus victory. Taking this will be worth three. 
All right, we got oil money, which we could have used for a Western trade item, um, but we're embargoed currently. Um, let's do an investment in Iran, and we'll do the mini action here. And we needed a six. So that didn't work. Um, so we can place two more investment if they're all in one factory, zero or one value. There, and we will go. USA money. All right, let's do another investment to Chile and a die roll. Full rights and freedoms. Both sides must place one unrest in an occupied country, and then one unrest in any other country at the same time. Soviets select. One unrest in an occupied country. I guess South Africa is probably our um it's the the American. we're gonna go here. That's going to formulate a coup. So there is, and this is what I was doing wrong. There is influence present. So it is a coup roll. So it's 2d6. Highest roll is a two. So basically there's no effect because of the occupation. So we set it to one unrest. So that kind of actually ends up helping us. Um, all right, and then one unrest in any country. Not the same. We are going to place one in Turkey. In the US, we'll place one in Israel. Well, again, we'll start a coup. And technically, US is the government player, so we don't want to do that, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, the USSR is good. All right. Roll the dice. We get a two. We get worker shortage. Three. Remove one success from the industry or farming tech tracks. Ooh. We'll slide back in industry. That is too bad. Authoritarian unrest. Both sides must place unrest in an un in, a, in an authoritarian country.
We will put one. Soviets will put one. In Pakistan. So then we do a who? We'll remove the United States influence. And then we do one for Americans, Americans. I guess we'll just dump it here. Cycle it. Emily and more. No effect. Research. All right, so we each get two research actions. We're going to do Soviet agriculture. Let us place a worker. worker. And that'll be. Oh, wait. We're going to complete tech. We're going to do an interceptors roll. We have one more, and we'll put it back on computing research. As far as the United States goes, they're going to put one into the naval balance, gives them one free reroll. Then We'll put one on Lunar Probe. We're going to roll for Tech Theft. And this one goes into Canada, UK. I'm going to put that in Spy. And go to the next card USA Money. All right. So. We don't want the Soviets getting any freebies here, so we are going to try to secure some of this tech here. We're going to do two spy actions. The first, UK. Oh. And then West Germany. CIA. Now, we're going to do an influence role in Argentina slash Chile. Then, we're going to try to place investment in West Germany. I'm sorry, my cat is misbehaving again. She really wants. All right, civil war. So it's the first one. So both sides may add one civil war marker. Civil war. Soviets will add one. And. Thing as the U.S. has got influence in every place where there's a civil war, the U.S. will do the same. All right, so USA money. We are going to place investments. One, two, 
it's allowed because these are all one value. We'll get oil. We're going to ramp up production to two. And pay $2, which means we'll remove that card, Let's get out some load. All right. We add one unrest in South Vietnam. I think we can still do, even though it's a civil war. Yes, sir. Uh, we are going to complete lunar probe. And hopefully not roll the one. Okay, good. Get one progress. And then our next one. We're going to do one on human space launch. All right, second civil war. So we're gonna resolve our civil wars. So we're gonna start with Algeria. So the government, which is the US, rolls 3d6 and it has a plus two. That's two hits. Government rolls 2d6 plus one. And that's one hit. So France gets single unrest. And we move. All right, Angola, 2d6 plus 1 for the government, thing 2d6 plus 0, same in Vietnam, 2d6 plus 1 for the government, that's a success, and then 2d6 plus nothing. All right, so... one progress for winning civil war which means we are evened up back at two apiece that is all of our civil wars so now there are only two on the board and they're both in africa all right lack of consumer goods okay. we add one unrest or one reforms cube let's go with one unrest Then we'll exhaust this by 2d6. All right, so we have to remove one of them. So we're out of crisis. Destalinization. Let's roll. At least two unrest in USSR or in any communist countries within one. On in Ukraine. Algerian withdrawal. If the Gaul is in power, which is move civil war in Algeria, move the French army, and all U.S. Add one unrest in France.
right, which means there is a coup in France. We roll a single die. Second. Set it to one unrest. Roll. So the, the coup fires, but the US is able to maintain. There's no influence present. Remove any government. It isn't. We do that, or I don't know. I'm. Overthinking this, I think. Actually, I think maybe we're supposed to roll the dice. Let's do that. Place a Soviet influence. Soviets have, oh, the communists have come into power. I don't know if that's right, but I like it. Soviet money, take off one of the money owed, and we go to the next card. And now we're out of debt. Okay. Three Soviet money cards in a row. So, place a third investment. And we'll roll. Oh. Let's place two more investments in zero or one value country. So let's go with Venezuela. Destalinization. Again, we have to place another two. There's tons of unrest out there. USA money. Let's try and influence in Argentina. And we get it. And let's do investment East German, and we'll try and that mark five or six. Get it. USA money. 
try Argentina again with this roll. Get it again. Cost of one And then we have one more. So one and two which is really nuclear bomb and we miss it again all right before we do this i'm just gonna exhaust my spies here i forgot to do it so we'll roll for each of them Two D six plus one in UK. That we get, so we get to apply two successes to the tech board. And we did get our five year plan. We are going to do mainframe computer. And then we're going to do the spy in the United States. We just need a six here. And we come very quick. All right, naval arms race. US roll. Six. We can place one cube on the naval track. And then one cube on any tech. We're going to do human space flight. We confirm. We confirm it. So we get one influence and one progress. Let's place an influence. Place one in Norway. All right. And then the Soviets, four plus, no. Okay, let's Give the United States two for this, which means they will get a third victory point. And I forgot to use this power, so let's re-roll our trade roll. Yeah. Okay, so let's go through the end of turn really quickly. Move marker to Turn five, so we have the start of the oil need for the Americans. Um, scores two to one in favor of the US. Five year plan roll is history. Um, tech theft or trade item, no trade item. Tech theft is USA. Soviet role for leadership change, no leader change. Um, so let's see, we add one cube, uh, old card. We are not winning the game. So no reforms yet. Um, remove one embargo. Uh, okay, U.S. role for president. Uh, okay, we can change one die to pips, but that's not going to get us an assassin. And I think that's only for that turn. We get one for the available debt. Flip all spies. Okay. Move disks on code breaking. Apply a tech for, cube for mainframe. Uh, we also forgot to add a tech theft for human space flight. Yeah. We'll probably wait to complete that. We'll 
two, we'll put one ICBM. And the Soviets will put one on All right, that is everything. So thanks for watching turn four. Um, we'll be back soon with turn five. Thank you and have a great day.